At first, select your desired Sketchfab model and press download, selecting which texture size you want. Now download Blender Source tools from this domain. Now in Blender, in Edit Preferences, install the Blender Source tools from the zip package we downloaded. When you enable it, a few options will appear on the right. Now in Blender, File, Import, add either a GLB or an OBJ file, depending on our choice earlier. Now the model with the textures will appear. Now in the hierarchy on the right we can see that it's split into many different segments, so we should select them all and press Ctrl J to join them. Now I recommend cleaning up this hierarchy. Let's begin with Romanesco, then for the child Romanesco.1, then for the triangle Romanesco slash root, then for this just Romanesco, and for this Romanesco slash texture. Now create a collection and also name it Romanesco and now it's cleaned up. Now it is basically ready to export. We can apply some changes in the edit mode to scale it up appropriately. Or we can go into the sculpt mode and apply some random changes. Specify our file. Go into the source engine export and select a folder where the DMX file will be exported. Now grab the right upper corner and go into Image Editor and select the texture. Now save it into the same folder as earlier, but remember to use this texture name. Now we can close Blender and create a new text file. Name it romanesco.qc. Now edit this file in Notepad++. This command relates to the user mod models folder directory. This command is important if later the textures are opaque but we want them to drop shadows. This command specifies the name of the DMX file we exported from Blender. This command specifies how it's shown in SFM. And this command line specifies the materials folder. Keep this one in mind. Now we need to create this folder in user mode materials models. Now go into VTF Edit and import the texture we exported. The clamp option quickly enables you to reduce the size of the texture. Now grab the textures folder and save this in that folder using the Romanesco texture name. We have created a VTF file, but now we need to create a VMT file and use the Vertex Generic option. Save it in the same folder. Now open the QC file in Crowbar and compile it. Now under the path we specified in the first command line in the QC file, we can see it. Now open the folder we specified in the last command line of the QC file. In that open the VMT file. You can copy this code and specify the VTF path. In the console, type mat slash reload on materials. 
This will reload all the materials. You can apply many more effects and you can see it on the sfm.wiki.